in 2025, there is no shortage of powerful note-taking and productivity apps. But three stands out for different reasons. Capacities, Notion, and Obsidian. Today, we're diving deep into how they compare in ease of use, organization, features, and who each is best for. If you're looking for the perfect tool to organize your thoughts and projects, stick around. Quick overview, let's start with a quick intro. Capacities is a newer tool built around the idea of linking your knowledge into a second brain, but with a strong focus on multimedia and structured content. Notion is the all-in-one workspace kick, letting you create databases, task lists, wikis, and more. Great for teams and individuals. Obsidian is a powerful markdown-based note-taking app that emphasizes local first storage and building networks of linked notes, perfect for knowledge management nerds. Each tool takes a different approach to help you organize your mind. Ease of use and learning curve. When it comes to getting started, Capacities is relatively easy to jump into if you like structure. It offers templates like people, books, and projects right out of the box. Notion is beginner friendly, but can feel overwhelming due to the sheer number of options, tables, boards, wikis, and integrations. Obsidian has a steeper learning curve, especially if you're not familiar with markdown syntax or the idea of linking notes, but it becomes incredibly powerful once you get it. If you want quick wins without deep configuration, Capacities is a great pick. For flexibility and the cost of some setup time, Notion or Obsidian are better. Organization and structure. How do they help you stay organized? Capacities organizes information into different content types like notes, tasks, media, and knowledge items and encourages linking them naturally almost like a structured Zillow Notion is completely flexible. You can build your own structure from scratch using databases, pages, and templates. Obsidian thrives on atomic notes, small interconnected notes with backlinks, tags, and graph views that visualize your knowledge base. For people who love visual organization and structured templates, Capacities is refreshing. If you love thinking in links and relationships, Obsidian is your playground. Features and customization. Features wise, Capacities focuses heavily on content types, backlinks, and a growing AI powered assistant for summarization and audio expansion. Notion supports deep database customization, team collaboration, integrations with other apps, and now has built in AI features too. Obsidian is incredibly modular. Its plugin system lets you add Kanban boards, daily notes, space repetition systems, task managers, and more. Plus, it works offline natively. If you want plug and play AI and beautiful layouts, Capacities leads. For heavy project management and database needs, Notion wins. For maximum power with full local control, Obsidian is unbeatable. Cloud versus local storage. Where is your data stored? Capacity is cloud based with sync across devices, though you can export your data if needed. Notion is also cloud first, which is great for access everywhere, but it depends on their servers. Obsidian stores everything locally by default. Your nodes are just marked down files on your machine. You own your data, and you can add your own sync options if you want. If online access and data ownership matter most to you, Obsidian is the clear winner. If you prefer seamless sync out of the box, Capacities and Notion are excellent. Pros and cons summary. Here's a quick breakdown. Capacities, pros, structured note-taking and linking, built-in AI support, cons, still a relatively new platform, fewer third-party integrations. Notion pros, insane flexibility for tasks, projects, and wikis, strong collaboration features, cons, can get overwhelming fast without a plan. Obsidian pros, total control over your notes and data, endless customization with plugins, cons, requires setup and learning, especially for beginners. Choosing the right tool depends on your style. Prefer clean structures and multimedia? Capacities. Need a flexible all-in-one system? Notion. Love local first link thinking? Obsidian. Conclusion, in 2025, there's never been a better time to build your second brain. Whether you choose Capacities, Notion, or Obsidian, what matters most is picking the tool that matches your thinking style. So which one do you use? Let me know in the comments. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my other tech breakdowns. So, see you in the next one.